Greetings everybody, my name is Tommy the Game Master and welcome to my channel. This is going to be more of a rant review of the game Kindergarten. I purchased this one a few weeks ago when I found it on sale. I have heard the game theorists talk about this one, so I decided to give this one a try. And just a uh, quick thought, this game's messed up. I mean, its sense of humor is just really, really out there. That doesn't mean I didn't enjoy or I didn't laugh. There's plenty of really great dark humor aspects of this game. And that's what its main selling point It's one of those puzzle solving adventure games where the story itself is kind of part of the gameplay. But basically the idea is you're a kindergartner and you have to survive the day through the most uh, messed up school ever. I mean, just talking to the um, janitor on like the first screen, too much will get you killed. Uh, getting sent to the principal's office usually means you get shot in the head. Um, stuff like that. Even playing house, which you think would be a safe activity, can get you killed if you choose the wrong options. It's just how messed up this game is and messed up the characters are. But your main goal of the game, there is a purpose to the story, and that is to find out what happened to a missing student. Um, each day, um, the timeline resets itself. It's kind of a la Majora's Mask without any explanation. So anybody who gets killed the day before will be back the next day without having any memory of what you do. You do get to keep some items left over that you can use to go through other scenarios to pick up new items to eventually solve the mystery but during that you're going to have to poison a bully you're going to have to kill all the kids in your classroom because the teacher's annoyed with them all i mean she flat out doesn't care and the way they set that up is hilarious um and then you of course the next scenario you do after you win the reward for the teacher is to use that reward to set her up so you can kill her because she was plotting to kill you as well. Um, it's just like I said, it's just a really messed up game. But I did have a lot of fun. The puzzles are top notch. Um, mainly um, what you're going to be balancing with the puzzles most of the time isn't necessarily items. They're a part of the game and they're important. So balancing your items and figuring out which items to use is part of it. But more importantly, it's your time. You only have so many choices you can make throughout the day, and those are represented by the apples at the bottom of the screen. Run out of apples, and then you move on to the next part of the day, and if you haven't completed the tasks that you need to do before the next part of the day starts, then you're going to have to start them all over in the next loop. And you can also um, create these apples for cash by hitting the... Um, enter or X button on the Xbox controller to blow the apples really fast as well as make a little bit of money by doing that of course you can't just um, if you're interested in making a lot of money to put into the piggy bank for the next day you can't just blow all your money for one day by hitting X because at the end of the day they're show and tell and if you don't have um, any items to do during show and tell you get sent to the teacher principal's office and well murdered by him so you do have to balance what you do your money the items and the time you have available but the great part about this is if you screw up you're never sent too far back um, each cycle of this day which consists of about four parts um, opening school lunch and recess and then show and tell only take about five to ten minutes per cycle so even if you screw something up you never get sent back too far and it's usually never a problem to get things going back again and figuring out where you failed so the puzzles are good the way they are delivered is good it's not ever too meddlesome or too hard to figure things out the sense of humor is just hilarious so do i recommend this game only if you're prepared for its sick sense of humor and you like puzzle solving games. 
it's usually found on the Steam store for about five bucks, which I think is a perfect price for a game like this. Um, and yeah, like I said, if you're interested in something with some really, really disgusting and some really dark humor, you might want to give this game a try. I did have some entertaining amusement from it. It's nothing epic, but it is fun. All right, you guys. Um, thank you for watching this video. If you have anything to say about it, feel free to leave a comment down below. This is Tommy the Game Master signing out.